basically, and there's Are you a taking small all box. that gold? Yeah. Alrighty. You, you get... rolling for how much there is? Fucking hell yeah, you had a lot of gold there. Um, is there is there a deed to the store like hanging on the wall or somewhere in, on that desk? No, there's just no. a there's just a, a, a safe mm. under the desk, a desk with loads Can of gold it? on it, and uh, a pouch from which he was counting gold from. Uh, you find uh, two hundred gold pieces. Um, can I use knock on the safe as well? I don't see why not. You open up okay. the safe. I think right about now is when Raju would be coming running in with sword in both hands. You guys are heading down the street as you see a bunch of people fleeing past the train station area. I just um, went from here on the gunshots. Mm. Oh. Before we do that, uh, in the safe? just going to say to uh, Strings, you better give me half. Right, of course. We'll see what's in this safe first. In the safe? Am I uh, thieves? Wait, did he already open it or can... He's just opened it with knock. Oh, yeah, just, I've just knocked. You find. Let me just figure out how to send this to you. Oh, well. Ooh, you, okay. You find two bloodstones. What the fuck? Give me an investigation check. Okay. Easy. Uh, you can liquidate these for around 50 gold pieces each. You find Ooh. a potion of climbing. <laughs> Damn. You find... That's real specific. 600 <laughs> gold pieces. <laughs> you find... Oh. A dagger of venom. Damn. Okay. I don't know what that does. <laughs> I'll take the dagger. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'll give him the dagger. And give him you find gold. an elixir of health. And uh, give him the elixir of health as well. Cool. Um, and so there's no deed to the store at all? There's no deed to the store, no. Okay. It's not really... Do they even have deeds in this town? That's the thing, they probably don't. <laughs> okay. Um, is Raja here? kill each other. Yeah, I, I don't know how long it takes, but like, because yeah. Car the town is small. Yeah. If Carlisle's fired his gun, it would have just been immediate. Yeah. Gotta go see what that is. Um, as you, and I assume the other two are running with me. Yeah, as you as you like run in, just... Right? Yeah, I'm definitely... This wasn't they have not run in. Uh, okay. As they get to the front of the store, they see two guards accompanied mm. with two big looking dudes approach the store. Um, you guys probably see, you're like on the also street. Closing the safe. You see these two guards run up to the front of the store. There's a bunch of people gathered around the front mm. of the area, and the two guards shouting, Oi! Who's in there? What's going on? Come on! Official business. Official business. Who is it then? gonna come out and meet them hi yes they level uh, spears I, at you the two I'm thuggish straight. dudes bring out a couple of uh I give swords. them holding the leg like hold up my hands we came in here to you sick bust no no hold on a minute they were cannibals store owners had a hidden trap door down there there was a leg what kind of cat <laughs> apparently he's being attacked by a cat of some kind <laughs> the the guards say, "Come on now, put down your weapons. No need to start." I ain't starting anything. You can go in and check it for yourself. I'm gonna go in and check for myself after you two put down your weapons. Come on. Oh right, it's holstered. They're holstered. Put the crossbow on the counter. And then you have like an axe or some shit. What else? Do you have? I have the the spear, but it's all, it's like across my back underneath the shield. Like guns on the ground. Put it on the counter, not the ground. All right, here's the leg. Do you want the leg? They're pointing the spears at Carlias to put the guns down. Fine, it's on the it's on the table. Come on, kick it over. You want me to kick it on the table? I want you to kick over the gun to me. On the ground, kick it over. What your dents? Might as well. We're Fine. innocent. They're going to give it back. They better. All right. And uh, the uh, the two thuggish dudes come in and like grab you by the hands and pin you like like pin your hands behind your back. They begin to tie you up um, in a sort of rudimentary handcuff. This is unnecessary. If you check downstairs once again. All right. 
You two. Can I uh, sleight of hand affect the uh, the handcuff? What are you like, trying, trying to do? Like make it so that it is like a weak Lo form. Loosen it. Yeah. Um. Sure. So whilst he's tying, like I kind of fidget my hand so that it messes up the loop or whatever. Yeah, give it a go. Uh, yeah, you kind of like loosen it um, in such a way. Like he's tying it around, but he sort of turns for Just one second and like, you do a you do a little yeah. whoop, and it feels like it's loosened up. Um, just a little. Um, he finishes tying your hands and they, they bring you out the front. They take off all the bits that you had on you, like your, your, your satchel and uh, your bags, anything that you took from the, the safe and things like that, and the two guards head in. The thugs stay out the front of the store as, as Raja and Lash and Arden head over towards you. The thugs immediately, as soon as they see you, like, oh, no, 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 no. You stand back. Come on. Nothing to see here. Move on. Yeah, uh, I guess I'm, I'm coming around the corner like with the tall war up and like already ready to chop someone in half and see the two of them tied up. But I would uh, you said two thugs, right? And two guards are inside. There's like two guards that are in um, they're in like basic leathers, but they have spears and like helms. They look like official them. Um, and then okay, there are these so I can two, tell like, that they're guards, right? There are these two like thuggish looking dudes who just look like mercenaries. Um, gold star stickers on big, their chest. Big dumb looking like uh, human sure. dudes. Um, mm. And then two two guards, one a halfling, one a human. Um, okay, but they, the well, two guards like head in. You guys probably would have seen the original um, exchange just as you were approaching. And then these two okay. guards head in as the thugs kind of guard the prisoners. All right. So, so, but I, I, but I can tell that these are officials, even if they look like thugs. Or yeah, you saw them walk up at the guards. Okay. It... Oh. Right, Carlias. Give us a moment. Uh, we'll be out of these in a minute. Everything that I took from the safe, by the way, is just like jumbled in my bag. Hmm. Like it's, it's all just in there. It's not like in a. Yeah. Um. What? Okay. What? We. What happened? We did a duty. They were cannibals. So he killed them. We, we, you killed, you killed people. We were oh. just gone for. A... <laughs> They're cannibals. <laughs> they eat so, people. There's lots of cannibals. Well, they asked us to get more and kidnap someone, so they could eat them. All right. Well, did you at least take their stuff? No, I would never take this step. Are the guards letting us just freely talk to them? Or the they, like... thuggish dudes are just like looking at you. Um, from behind you, the uh, the other two guards come out and say, "Oi, you lot, fuck mm. off!" And they like they like begin to like move over towards you with their spears lowered. Come on, they stay just... away from the prisoners. Uh, yeah, I'll just I'll find... just back away. <clears throat> what did you find? Did you find the cage? You shut up. And then he turns to the crowd of gathered people and he says, What we've got here, ladies and gentlemen, is two murderers and two thieves. And uh, he says, Right, lads, come on, take them away. And they begin um, to, like, usher you away from the I store. I step in front. Stepping in front? I'm, I'm yeah. going to look at the, the big guy next to me um, and go, You, what's your name? The Thug. Yeah. Shut up. That's my name. Shut your mouth. Right. I'm here Go on official on, business from him in the big city. Never heard of him. Uh, in front of <laughs> in front of Arden, uh, the, uh, the the guard lowers his spear. Guess that only works Excuse so me, much. sir. Get out of the way. We have to take these to the dungeon. <clears throat> <laughs> it would be the noose for both of them. Um, how, right. how There's a, there's actually... a clap from the crowd. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're bored. This is awesome. The um, how... Have been caught. The city guard actually getting to be useful for once. Yeah. <laughs> um, how, how... I probably ran up a little bit behind them uh, as they went by because I'm just not really worried about anything. <laughs> the, uh, Carlias could take care of himself and I don't really care much about what Strings is doing. Hmm. Um, how... How much attention is on me, I guess? I don't have my gun. There's a thug with Carlias, 
and a thug with um with strings there's a guard who's uh the more official looking dude here standing in front of you and his attention is focused on you the other guard is in the doorway of the store still all right um would i be able to kind of um is there can i move around the building to not be seen yeah i mean you've already been seen you stepped in front of yeah. him yeah, I'll I'll uh, I'll move around. Uh, what I want to try and do is, uh, if I need to use my bonus action to, to go invisible for a round two, uh, I want to disguise myself as the the mage uh, Hex Hexus. Let me check my Hexus. notes. Hexus. 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 I always yeah. say his name wrong. So just out of out of sight, and then just come up and try and defuse this. Uh, yeah, you can step out of the way. The guards um, begin to lead the two of these off uh, around the corner. Um, the uh, the other guardsman remains with the store. Um, Come on, nothing to see you. He begins to um, uh, try and disperse you guys. You guys are heading like up towards this area. Um, you've been arrested. Yeah. They're taking you um, to the dungeons to be hung for murder and thievery. Are the gallows in this town like publicly visible, or are they like down in the dungeon? I'm sure they would set something up where they would hang someone for the town because that's fun. It's like going to the cinema. Um, uh, Brad, would I, with through my forgery stuff, um, and through always switching my characters with my backstory, would I have a type of lawmaker's papers with me? I don't see why you would, unless that was a thing. But you haven't really said that you you've ever been any sort no of it's just about it's anything. just impersonating people you can always try and m make like some form of forged document yeah i'll but uh, you'd have to you'd have to fuck off and do that now and it's going to take yeah. you too long to just you're not gonna be able to turn around and go blah blah blah, blah and then doctor who magic fucking deus ex paper. yeah of course of course um all right, uh, I'll just, I'll, I'll come around. Oh, I'm gonna go invisible when I get around the corner, turn into Fexus, and I'll come out and call after the guards that are taking them away. Mm, yeah, as you're well, like he heading up, yep, Roger. While he's doing that, can I see which of them is carrying Carlias's gun and um, Strings' crossbow? The gun and the crossbow are still in the store, which has got the guy in front, um, along with their packs. Oh, so. Okay, so there's did guard, they leave a guard posted by the... There's a guard posted in the doorway. Two thugs and a guard are heading off with the prisoners. You three... No, you and Lash are presumably still by the store. Arden like dips into an alleyway, dips back out as Fexus. Okay. okay. <laughs> First off, do I know that that's Fexus is actually him? Uh, you made all, an investigation check. Do I do do I have advantage because I know full well that it was Arden going around the corner coming back out if Fexus shouldn't be here? Yeah, you've seen Arden do this shit before. Okay. <laughs> Once a day. It's Arden. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna elbow Lash. She's pulling some shit. And then just like I'm gonna like elbow her and then nudge towards the store and say, weapons. And that's it. Um Fexus steps out from an alleyway. <laughs> this is such a dysfunctional. Uh, and <laughs> I, I, who, wait, I, okay, I don't remember. Do we? Ha do I have the scroll uh, that says that I am uh, what's his face, La France from Sin River, or does Carlias have it? Do you like Raja has it? I can't remember when we did the I, forgery I, on the train. I have it. Okay. Carlias has it. So and it's in the bag. Oh, pack, yeah, it's yeah. gonna be in the bag in the store. They would have taken the spear off of uh, Thingy as well. They probably wouldn't have bothered with the shield unless they had to. Um, if you've got any concealed daggers and shit, they might not have got to those. No. Okay. Or I do, yeah. The very obvious uh, weapons they would have. Yeah. I, would have taken I'm, I'm gonna. Store. I'm gonna sick uh, lash on getting our equipment back, and then as soon as I do that, talk to the guard that's in front and say, "Okay, can you explain why my partners are being arrested?" I wasn't around whenever what happened happened. And while he's uh, talking, I'm going to attempt to sneak in there. 
Uh, sure. You give me a stealth check, and sure. um, it's rogue time. And uh, the guard turns to um, Ooh. turns there to Raja and says, "Seems we got a failed robbery here. Tried to uh, try to nick all the stuff out of the safe. Safe's busted wide open. No, oh, I they, closed it. Safe's busted wide open. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, they uh, they try to rob him." Got, got caught in a scuffle, killed an innocent father and son. That do not make any sense. We just had payday. We don't need to rob anyone. During this time, Lash has slipped in a window. Just, just <laughs> inside. <laughs> like a slug? Yeah, like a... <laughs> like a, just, like a fucking, can you explain to me why the bird is making a... Corporeal, <laughs> like an incorporeal slug. She slips <laughs> in through a window. <laughs> Uh, through the window, uh, you are inside and moving around like super quietly um, sure. behind this this guard. Um, Fexus, what do you say to the the guard as these guys head further up the away from um, the store? As as his voice, because I don't remember what his actual voice was. Um, wait, wait, wait! Where are you going? Give me a performance check for the voice. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Fexus is like uh, he would have would have wait wait where are you going there we laddie yeah. yours comes out a lot more like what you just did and the the guard kind of uh, oh all right there uh, Fexus what are you doing hey, seeing you in town in years and I, I I clear my th do would I have realized that that was a bad voice for it uh, yeah hundred percent okay I I clear my throat sorry uh magic spell and I said. I wanted you to wait because I sent him, and I point to strings, as I do quite often, on an investigation. You have cannibals in your area, and I point to uh, the place, and I've paid him everything that I have. 300 gold, you should see it on his body, to bring them to justice. Oh, hang on a minute, and the, the, the guard kind of motions to the, the thugs, and steps in a little closer and says you paid this man to kill your own men yes no one steals from Vexus. <laughs> deception check oh. Oh, oh, oh. It, wait i don't understand uh, if so, i if i could <laughs> he turns they, he turns around <laughs> um, they they were one of his men until one of them went rogue and on a failed attempt ate Fexus's assistant. They ended up grabbing one of the other workers in the tower instead of his assistant and ate them instead. They ate a he was a bard. Goblin. Why the fuck would they eat a goblin? No, it was Bobby the backup bard. Have you not seen him around town? I've, I've trained him. Talking about he was always a leg ahead of everyone else. Now I feel he's just a little short. The guard turns back to the thugs. You hear anything about this? No, no. Why uh, would you? Did you run it past the old man? He says to Pexus. Did I run it past the old man? Not when someone betrays me. Action must be taken. Oh. How will we call ourselves people of Windy Peaks if we don't take action? Well, he's not gonna like I could these. even give you some of the pay I gave to uh, Strings here. I'm Glad sure you have it on him. 300 gold, I remember. 300 gold, is it? Let him go. I'll give you each 50. Well, since I've paid Strings for this, I feel like, yeah, you could have up to 300 of the gold. Well, how the fuck am I supposed to cover <laughs> this shit up? Um, With gold? There was just a rogue party that came through the town. Maybe we could smack you once or twice or you could smack each other and pretend we got away now i feel uh, let me interject as you are my hireling my stooge i feel he shouldn't talk to the guard like this let's make sure we sell this very well you can hit him i don't want to get it right no no you can hit you can hit this guy Perhaps it's say the they strings would... it's fine he no. takes it very well no that's not what um, Watch! And I'll hit him in the back of the head. Vexus, See? for you. <laughs> Thank you. You're such a loyal servant. 
Tell you what. Give me 300 gold. I'll smooth it over with the old man. And we get our stuff back. So in, in the hubbub, can I slip back out the window here? And yeah, what did, you, what did you do? Are you trying to take So I would have looked for the bag. you're trying to take two bag. backpacks, a spear, oh. a, a, a gun, and then, like I guess, a pouch with all this shit. Yeah, I can't carry that much. <laughs> Probably, like... If I, I would have grabbed see, the gun and stupid. if, if I can see her struggling with everything, I'm just gonna point at the gun, the crossbow, and the bag of gold. All right, give me a stealth. Well, roll. I mean, all, all the gold was in the in my pack, so or, the, the okay, so was... okay, so it's two packs of a uh, not you, Lash. Um, oh, sorry, uh, Raja, because he's sort of stealthily pointing, like like, oh, okay. like I'm trying, I'm trying to make a hand motion to her to like get that, get that, get yeah. that. But while also talking to the guard, the guards in so front I of guess you, like, yes, dirty the stuff. I tell you, they executed him with a <laughs> fucking gun. Yeah, so um, I guess I'll, I'll like point at it and say, "Hi!" Ah, and all this blood everywhere too. And like, as as soon as his eyes are like following what I'm pointing at, my other hand is popping up, going, "That, that, man." Yeah, you can, yeah, I mean, it's pretty clear. messy business. Can, These guys can, are you can dangerous. Collect those bits. We, yeah, I'm gonna. Head back over to Raja. The two very different rules. And you slip out. And yeah. you slip back right. out. Give me another stealth roll to slip back um, out. Sure. Raja, Raja wouldn't know about the gold in the bag, so I, I probably just pointed at the gun and the crossbow mm -hmm. and said, you know, those. But yeah. if she can carry one of the backpacks, I can. Of course, uh, grab it. Lash has a very keen sense for any gems and gold. I'm sure I would have looked. <laughs> give me a yeah. Give me an investigation check. <laughs> okay. I just feel like I'm gonna get robbed here. Like that's well, you just got robbed of 300 gold. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you fucking prick. Um, I would say that you uh you you know that they probably had their gold in their bags, but not necessarily they had like loads and loads and loads of gold. <clears throat> just that you know at Actually, least that Carlias has a bit of gold. Can I can I check to see if I could tell that the safe is broken open and put two and two together to know they probably took the gold? Probably not. The safe is in like the back room. Like you okay. can't see it. Out of sight. You can see right. the front of the store, but not really. While I would probably just say to the the guards, um, we'd have to go back to my pack. I have the gold in there. Uh, well, please don't bring them back while we're doing this. <laughs> well, this is kind of like what again, Lash does. So I would have yeah. the gold would have been priority. Gotcha. I would have grabbed the gold and the pistol, so um, but since he indicated the Lash cross, already out. right now, because like Lash is, the, if Lash is bringing yeah. bags and stuff, then she needs to do a stealth check with disadvantage, basically. If you're just bringing right, because I'm weighted there, down. Yeah, the stealth check. It would just yeah. be a fifteen still. That would no, be I want a different one. Oh no, he means with the just. Yeah, how do I do that with disadvantage? You just roll again, just roll. and then take oh, the lower, okay. the gotcha. lower of the two. You guys are gonna get us caught. Like we got her. It's even loose. better. She's a god of <laughs> stealth. Okay. She, uh, Look at she that like, roll. So she like grabs two packs, <laughs> hooks a spear, <laughs> hits a spear through them, pockets a, a pistol, and then just finds this little like little uh, uh, kind of like vent on the ground, and just solid snakes it through oh this vent <laughs> and just and just slips out into the rear alleyway where Arden had previously dipped in. So Lash, you have all of their shit and uh, you dip out into like a back alleyway. The um, the guard in front of Raja, like Raja's watching all this shit go down. There's a point where you're like, she's going to fall over. That's too heavy. And she's where, where's she going? Where's she going? And then she dips down and she just disappears into the back of the store somewhere and finds an alternative route out. Yeah, I'm not coming as, out. As soon I've as, got the goods. As soon as I can tell that she's cleared the building, I'm going to talk to the guard again and say, well, can I appeal the decision somewhere or press for investigation? I, I don't feel like my men would have murdered them without cause. We're here on a job. Oh, you're with them, are you? Well, we came to town together, but I wasn't here for whatever happened. Right, right. Well, best you, uh, best Can you I walk away, you? son. All right. All right, it's been a long day. Right. Uh, best of luck uh, on your duties, and I'll, I'll walk away, and I, I, I'll, I'll kind of walk in a direction away from them and as soon as I'm out of line of sight of that guy just like beelining it to catch up with uh, not Lash but catching up with session uh, of yeah 
You uh, uh, actually, actually, no, never mind. I think I would circle around to go find Lash. You, you head away, circle about, and the guard like turns around, closes the general store door, and then crosses his arms across the front, um, back around in the uh, where the the, the group of um, you all are talking Yo. through um, paying this guard. He says, all "Right, back to the." Back to the store, is it? All right, come on then. And he turns around and says, right, bring him, bring him. Don't make a fuss of it, they're going to pay us off. And then like, he turns around and they head back down the street. Raja like comes around the corner and then casually <laughs> struts over or past as they return down the street, um, head back round to the front of the store. Um, unless you interrupt them, Raja, they'll head back down towards the general no store. I, I i'm trying oh. to get i'm trying to get to lash first okay so you can like you can you can strut past them um towards where the alleyway is lash you're in an alley at the back there um all this stuff is way too heavy but you you know like when you just grab loads of stuff and you're like i can do this for like one minute and then you just right and then drop in the alley off. there's just these bags so yeah i feel like, like i've yard sailed over here <laughs> Because they've got like 600 gold in them, they're just ridiculously heavy now. <laughs> the uh, the guards head back around to the front um, of the store and they say, "Oi, uh, oi!" And the the other guards, let us in. We're gonna sort this out inside. All right, all right. They turn around, they open the door. The two guards head in. The thugs kind of like shove you two in and they close the door behind them. Once they're inside the store, all right, listen, and they. Undo okay. Strings's rope. And Where'd you put my pack? Wait a minute. What the fuck is this? Where's the pack? What? And then the, all, all of them in procession sure just pointing at each other. Where's the pack? I don't know. I saw him take Did it your man? Shrugged it Where's my around. gun? Where's the pack? Where's the gun? What happened? And they're shouting. They're, they're all looking at the one. Right, what is this? <laughs> If anything's happened to my gun, you're going to be in trouble. Yeah, you're going to be in trouble. You don't shut your trap, dwarf. What are you doing, bard? Pulling some hudagaba, is it? How could I have done anything? You you were with me the whole time. Yeah, listen, I've Surely seen Surely your shit. man... Is your man working for me? I've seen some fucking weird shit with magic. Can't do none of it myself. What? What are you playing I... at? Come on. There's... Listen, I want my fucking pack back as well. Yeah, I want my fucking gold, son. Where is it? But... For fuck's sake, guys. <laughs> you got to fucking kill. Can I, can I hear this? You couldn't like... let the fucking scene I don't know. No, I right. don't know how far. No, I didn't right. know you were coming back to the store. <laughs> um, when Lash escaped into this back alley and I circled around to her, how, how far are removed are we from the room? Can we hear this argument? You probably can't hear it, no. Like, she's crawled out through, like, a little fucking hole, little air vent in the ground uh, and back out into an alleyway. I doubt you can hear this. this is, like, even though they're kind of, like, gruffly speaking, they're probably whispering because there's, like, public outside the door. They're, take, they're trying okay. to take a payoff. When, when, I find, when I find Lash, I'm going to run up to her. And uh, is the the train parked at the train station? No, there's no train. I thought we were heading to the train station today. Is that doesn't that today? mean there's a train there just because you're going there. <laughs> You've been to a train okay. station. <laughs> well, I wasn't. I wasn't sure. I was assuming if we're leaving town on the train today, there'd probably be a train waiting to depart at some point. Yeah, no one um, has asked when the next train is this entire time being in town. <laughs> okay. Uh, when well, I'll catch up with her and then. Uh, yeah, you two are in the alleyway. This, this 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 alley is it removed enough that if we just left the bags here, they would probably not be disturbed. Like potentially. Like how, how concealed are they? It's a like it's a darkened alleyway. It's not. It's like there's like a piss corner, and like nothing else of worth down here. Like no one's. It's not a trafficked alleyway. It is like a very remote part of town. Um, but your guess is like as good when as you... anyone else really in this alleyway leaving stuff in an alleyway it's always 50 50. i've done it before okay. that's how i lost my first girlfriend irl <laughs> yeah that's rough stuff um okay uh, all right this is gonna be tricky we have to f if murdering the riffraff around town is whatever but if we kill off the guards we're gonna be hunted did you got the give me the gun i oh 
Yeah, here. I feel like when Raja found me, I was biting gold coins because there were extra. <laughs> so it's just like <laughs> there's just that, like has... for some reason so... strings is fucking minted. He has got so <laughs> much gold and stuff. Had they already split it three hundred in each, or was all six hundred yes. in uh, I, strings? I've already, I've already given some to. Oh, Carlias. you just you had split it. Okay. Yeah, I gave three hundred to Carlias. So, so I see her. Mind, you're much getting gold. a message from Carlias saying you touch my stuff, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> How telepathically? Just was, while while rummaging through. Was all this all this hold gold? On, hold on. All, all this gold was in the bags. Yeah, yeah and there's a, at least five hundred. There's a couple of How potions did, in there. How did? They and really these, did. and I hold up the potions. They really did rob the store. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I message Raja? Because I just saw him. Is that too meta or no? I don't. I think you have to have a line of sight, don't you? I have to have. Yeah. Um. I wait. This message. You point you a can do it through a walls. With I can do it through. Oh uh, wait, is that message though? I feel like that's something else. You hold point on. your finger towards a creature within range and whisper a message. Uh. You can cast this spell through solid objects if you're familiar with the target and know it's beyond the barrier. You don't know he's there. I don't think he would know where I am because I was I, circling around the outside of the building. We, yeah, we did just pass him though. Like, I would still know he's... It's up to you, Brad. Because I would know he's like on the other side of the, the building. Like, I would know Roll where Roll me a d20. Saw. A d20? Okay. As you randomly point at a wall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You you like fire off a message, and it it reaches um, Raja as your hand is brought back down and big and tied. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can get that... like the switch. Well, it's it's just a it's just a mental communication. Like I don't have to keep. Okay. That. All right then. Cool. So yeah. I would I would just Raja, are you there? Can you hear this? The heck is that? It's. <laughs> Are you doing the hand thing? Can you hear this? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Kenneth, Kenneth used this spell all the time. Yes, this is how you do this spell. It's called message. Um, we're inside the store. Um, you I robbed the to... store. No, they. I just. I'm looking the at the evidence. Listen, there, we were going to pay off the guards. gold in the Did bag. Did you take our packs because I was going to pay off the guards and our packs aren't here and now we're going to be murdered because our packs aren't here and I can't pay off the guards because we don't have the money. We sneaked in and retrieved all your stuff. If well, that's what fuck you're sakes, bring it back. Bring. It... How? Just throw it in through the window. <laughs> okay. I take, I take the, I take the bag, and I empty out, or, uh, I empty out all of the other crap, like all of torches, three hundred gold. Just throw three hundred gold through the window. Torches, food rations, and everything else. I dump it all out. I take just. Um, just strings his chair and I leave the Carlias bag alone. And I just take that huge bag of gold and just whip it through the window into the middle of the room with them. <laughs> well, look, there you are, magical. There's your money. There's a, a like, one. the thug like brings your arms down behind your back and like ties yeah. up your hands. Um, and then suddenly this money just ching lands uh, through gonna... an open window. Uh, as I expected. Magical no, bullshit. Can't fuck yeah. around with me, mate. Yeah, I ain't just I'll, good yeah. looks. You I'll look it. at him. Hocus pocus. <laughs> um, Perhaps it was Fexus, the man that owned the gold. I'll take a bow. Hey, wait, Fexus, why Why would you fuck around with me? I just wanted to make your day a little... Oh, what? This, oh, fucking, <laughs> this fucking Wanted to make your day a little better. Fucking outlander mercenary, and you're fucking around... Right, let's have a look. Tell you what, the old man's not going to be too pleased with this fucking shit show. Picks up the gold oh. bag, puts it down on the counter, counts out as much of it as he can before he realizes he can't count to 300. And yeah, uh, yeah, that's that. <clears throat> well, that's my off. Uh, which one also, are we letting go? I wouldn't have known that there was 300. That that was meta. So. Uh, yeah, no one that. knows it's 300. It's just a bag of gold yeah. that he's claiming he thinks is 300. I mean, it's a decent fucking It would bag. have ended up being 300 anyway, because I only threw half. Yeah. So whether we knew it or not. Yeah. So whatever whatever gold I would have said. Otherwise, I think it's a moot point now. Yeah, he, uh, he I looks assumed, at... I assumed Strings would have money on him. I wouldn't have known about the robbery. He looks at Strings and Carlias. All right. Which one of you wants out? Both. Oh, I... You're going yes, to let I... both of us go. 
Oh, I come need on. one of these. Go, go, damn. What one? One thing. There is more than three hundred gold in there because I threw the three hundred that oh, he I, got from the safe, along with all of Strings' old point. own money. So yeah, I don't know I how don't much more it, it is, but I don't think I, it matters at this point. Yeah. We'll just let Brad sort it out, I guess. I'm I'm gonna point at one of them. Well, obviously it was a robbery gone wrong. You, uh, this one tried to rob the other. And they killed each other. What? Son got tired of his old man, tried to flow the coop. Blew the hey, coop, fly the if coop. you betray me, why would you betray someone else? But, uh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, maybe they did kill each other. Yeah. Yeah, maybe they did kill each other. Yeah, all right, Fexus, I get it. And he jabs a spear into String's belly. The other one jabs a spear into Carlias' belly. And that's where we end today's session. Oh, Fuck you, man. Oh, 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 <laughs> Thanks very much, Fexus, You're for the bright a idea. <laughs> wow! What a great way for them to just fix all this shit. I have to cover <laughs> it up with the old man. Fexus has only hired these guys. They're not his men. Fuck them. You're right. Jab in and jab in. Let's do a quick bit of damage. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Can we call you Whack Wodo now? Right. <laughs> nope. Nothing. Nothing. Get fucked. Oh no, they hit. What? Uh, they did. How? Because you, you're grappled. Whoa, 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 AC still armor, like it'd have to go through the belly armor. You're restrained. Which is still just advantage. I'm not restrained though, I can get out. You think you can get out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, Brad, I'm gonna, I will come down to your house. Don't don't make me. <laughs> this is I'm gonna argue that we we like if we've been able to auto kill surrendered people in the past, yeah. But does AC even count if yeah. you're okay. like, All right. surrendered? Surprise round was that one. Fuck you. They miss. Surprise round is that. They These miss. These guys are fucking dead next. Now. Fucking, can't we just go another hour? Now. <laughs> why can't we go another hour? Wait, now why we, are we stopping a half hour early? Let's play this out. Yeah, this is a half hour early, Brad. Let's, why are we stopping in this fucking... Well, because combat is never <laughs> half an hour. Because Brad needs a cliffhanger, that's why. <laughs> Part, no, it's just that combat is never half an hour, ever. I've never done, okay and it's not even it. really half be, an hour. It plus will with, be on these guys. I'd be okay with, the, with it if it took an hour. Plus, with the ten minutes of the, yeah, the shoutouts. Fine, yeah, I'd be, I'd be totally fine with another. It's, it's, you know, I'd be totally okay with that. We all have an hour to kill, Brad. Does everyone yeah. have an hour? Does everyone have an hour to kill? I, I got an hour. I don't got an hour and a half. But I, got an hour uh, I got a show in an hour and a half. I got a meet. Okay. For the show in one hour. We have an hour. Can you we have walk an straight out of this show into the next show? I think, yeah, just another Zoom call. Let's go! Then. But it probably won't take an hour to do the fight, so we can just finish just the fight. to die! Time. Thank fucking God! Some, we had some hype in the chat. Brad some, was benevolent. Some initiatives. Give me a second before you do it to just fucking throw you into a, a fucking thing. I only have this. What? This will do. Actually, like physically mad at you right now, Brad. <laughs> like, put you here. We got, we got Arden what? as Fexus. You are like here. We're just gonna do it here outside, but really you're in the shop. So I guess here. Looks like you're on a store. There you go. Here. Then we have Raja and Lash in an alleyway around the back <laughs> there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so w w why why was strings always mad at us having bounties on our heads? I feel like that's now an inclusive term. We did <laughs> what we, we thought was right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> fuck me, man. <laughs> God this is the best. Damn it. All right, give me initiatives. All right. <laughs> no, fuck this some, shit. I'll roll some bullshit. <laughs> this is the worst. It's I'm super so angry. Best. I love it. I don't know why you're angry. I just hate your cliffhangers like that. Like, I just hate having to wait a whole week to know if I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me just 
pop out this shit. Alright, so we got two guards, two thugs. So, what do we have? Oh, wait, hang on. Chibity chat. What's going on? Is that pizza? I'm so jealous. Who's got pizza? Oh! This day is pizza. <laughs> what the? She's All been right. munching on it for like 40 going. minutes. Really? Um, I've been. It's true. Been the same slice, even. <laughs> the same slice. I've eaten the crust <laughs> off. <laughs> oh my God. Eating all the pepperoni. Yeah. Yeah. One pepperoni at a time. Lick the sauce off, then you. No pepperoni. No? <laughs> it better not be pineapple. Right. No, it, it's oh, bathing yeah. suit season, dudes. There's no pepperoni over here. Lash and Raja. Well, Lash, you're first. Um, there's not really any reason that you would know that anything's happening inside. Oh, okay. Hmm. Would, they, would they, like, by chance hear, like, a, a yelp? What, I mean, they, I'm, I'm right by a smashed or? window that I just destroyed and threw money through. Actually true, yeah. You're, I, like, you're actually I feel probably like... here because you would have had to come around to the front of the store. To throw the money in. Okay. Uh, so I what I what I what I hear the stabbing. Lashes with the packs and. and yeah, I'm probably shit. guarding the goods until I hear a kerfuffle, which are I you, have not heard. Are you looking in? Are you asking me if I'm looking in the window? Uh, Raja. Well, really, uh, you you I feel like. I, I'm do not anything. looking in. I, 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 I'm I'm guarding threw, the gold. You're just sitting with the packs. I, th I threw the, I threw the money through the window and then, but I'd never look through it or show my face. I'm just kind of standing outside with my arms folded. Then I guess not. Waiting, but, essentially, but, what just happened is the two guards like went to stab him in the guts, and then like they like they dodged either way, uh, and, and like the guards were like, oh, weren't expecting him to be quick and talented. Um, well, can I can I hear what they're saying if I'm right by the window? Mm, give me a perception. Because I would I would have heard Arden basically tell or give them the idea to kill him. Yeah, give me a, <laughs> but give you me a... you were trying to say that the two merchants killed each other, but they interpreted it as strings and. Um, they didn't. Yeah, interpret they decided it. to just cover everything up. <laughs> they didn't interpret it as that. They purposefully covered it up as that. Got it. So um, would, would I have been able to hear that or anything? Give me a perception. I, I don't know. I feel like if I'm that close to the window and they start murdering, I can probably hear the murdering. Uh, you hear like a scuffle begin. I feel like. <laughs> Looking in the window, the guards are stabbing it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going in. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just going in, uh, right. diving through the window. Diving in um, through the window, Raja jumps oh, wait, in. Wait, 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 am I by the door? Can I just go through the door, or yes, is... you can go in through the door. Okay, we'll say the door is like here. Yeah, I'll just I'll just kick my way through the door and run up on the first guy. Cool. Um. Yeah, I'll just uh, kind of run into the room and be like, <sighs> whatever, and and just Thanks. hack at this first guy. <clears throat> Give me an attack roll. That is a 24. 24 um, is a hit. Oops. <laughs> My bad. I forgot. I'm oh, dumb. Oh, that? The 10. It doesn't yeah, count. It's, it's, you didn't put your hand up to your... So it doesn't what? spell slot. Yeah. No, no, no. He's <laughs> no, I, I, yeah, I forgot to... I forgot to say use a great weapon strike because I'm dumb. Um, so only do 10 and then... I can target him with Slayer's Eye, though, for the extra 1d6. Sure. I'll do that. Uh, da, da, da. Big money. He has no weaknesses. <laughs> he has no he is a, except standard, He's a standard human being. Let's see if he's weak to being... Man. Let's see if he's weak to having his legs cut off, and I'll, you know... Uh, go for the legs. The thug behind the... Uh, vaguely restrained Carlias. Uh, he is going to hit you with a, a mace. He has a mace. Jesus. Sounds really rough when you say it that way. <laughs> yeah. Twice. Uh, he oh, has advantage, fuck. so it's two hits. Oh. Eight and six bludgeoning. This just, mace just comes in and clocks you around the back of your head, knocking your uh, hat down over your eyes. You take 
uh, 14 bludgeoning damage to the back of the head. And the, uh, and, uh, the, the other thug says, Right, kill him quick! Um, Lash, give me a perception check just out of... Sure. Listening. See if I know what's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do! The gold! You hear a, a thug shout, Quick! Kill him quick! Or whatever I just said. Um, just for the record for when you're next turn rolls around. Mm -hmm. Arden as Fexus. What would you like to do, my dear child? Um. <laughs> this got out of hand real quick. Uh, I don't know why I'm even surprised anymore. <laughs> I, I no, thought we were right, going to get out thinking, of this. With, yeah. I thought we wouldn't have to murder everyone this one time. Uh, but you've been on a fucking spree today. <laughs> Holy yeah. This we've is been terrible. We've been plunging things into lots of people. Not yeah. always a weapon. <laughs> to be fair, this is probably um, the most justified bullshit town guard combat I've ever seen in D&D. &D. Yeah, yeah. Justified which way? Like, if, if these guys weren't, like, well, absolute assholes, they would run from this. Because they're bent cops or whatever, right? So... Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I swear, they, they have just little plastic stars on their chest. It's just <laughs> Sheriff on it, spelled incorrectly. Yeah. Um, all right. Um... Well, the old man has joined the hunt, and I'm going to walk up to the one in front that's attacking, uh, the, just the one right in front of me, and I'm going to hit him with my axe. All right. Uh, axe. Uh, 14 is a hit. Axe. Eight slashing damage. So you come in and just fucking attack this uh this dude i guess the disguise self still stays up but for some reason Fex texas comes in and just fucking hits this dude with an axe cutting him open down the back it's completely unexpected for uh from this uh, guy's perspective he turns around um raja's cut him in the back and then suddenly as he's turning on raja texas hits him with, what are you doing texas you mad man <laughs> i'm vexus and i'm mad and then i'm gonna use my bonus action and cast healing word uh, to heal our our poor Goliaths. Cool. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cast that at level two. Nice. So you get eight healing uh, HP back, Mr. Goliath. So how does that work with once again? Because that's one d4 plus my wisdom. I rolled a two. So where's the level two part come into that? The level two is the the top. This. That's the so like the the one on the left. The six is what it would have been if it was level one. Right. And, Casting it at level two adds in that two. That extra one. Yeah. yeah. So what is the first number? What do you mean? So is, I think it's the is it the bottom two numbers is or it is it the first number the first, and the six? Because I've always taken the first number and then the next one. So maybe it's, it's the bottom it's the, two. It's the one on the left and then it's the top one. Okay. Because it says okay. higher level cast. I don't know what the second one is for. I think we. The only thing that's confusing is when you when you hover over it, it has like a a fucking asterisk instead of just yeah. one times one. It is. Yeah. But I guess it's just... All right. Yeah, it's up, up you guys. But I don't know. So seven or eight it's points of health. I mean, it can't possibly be the top number by itself, so I guess it's the first two. I would say it's the first two. Any roll 20 yeah. experts in here? I don't know. Two and no, six, it's, Well, it's it's six plus the two, because the two is the higher level. Yeah. Because level two, right? Yeah. So... It's. I don't know it's what. It's just the, weird I think that it has advantage on healing work. Like when do you? I, I, need I think it's just everything has advantage and disadvantage. Maybe so the third number is just not needed. Maybe I think I think the right one is without the wisdom. It looks like it looks like maybe if he's. Yeah. I don't know. It just looks Someone like that's without his wisdom. I don't know why that's there. Yeah. We'll just yeah, ignore that. I have no idea. One. So it's. I've eight, always done eight. the left and the top. That's how Fire. I do. it, Yeah. Yeah. Um. The uh. <laughs> the healing word comes in and um. Carlisle, you feel the back of your head a little less sore. Um, all of a sudden, Fexus has healed you. Um, strings, you are bound. Um, I'm going to... Mm. Can I message Lash? Uh, if it's just or... verbal bullshit, then you can basically do verbal spells, right? That's about it. Yeah, at this yeah. Point. It is a verbal. The hand thing is just flavor. Mm -hmm. So I want to message Lash real quick and, and just go, Lash, bring in the packs. <laughs> There's a dagger <laughs> in the in mine. 
use it. Don't leave the packs unguarded. Please don't leave them unguarded. Bring them in. We're fighting. They're going to kill us. Roll me a d20 to see if this message gets to Lash. Fucking shit. Yes! <laughs> Loud and clear, Lash. Oh, yeah. You even get some feeling. Oh! <laughs> I, I gotta get in there. I can't tell it's my turn. Yeah. Uh, is that what you're doing? Oh my god. Um, I don't think I have a. Uh, for my bonus action, I'm going to inspire um, Raja and say, uh, <laughs> You know how NASA has to plan a party? They have to plan it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's NASA? Uh, the <laughs> National Artists so Sociology Association. Ooh, artist. What do they have to do with planets? Um, they draw them. All right, fair point. <laughs> uh, the thug turns on Raja and says, uh, "Fuck it, Vex, just pull it together, mate," and, and stabs. Oh fuck! No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Uh, one hit, I guess. As a mace swings at you, you dodge it once, but on the backhand, unexpected reverse, you take a mace to the chest. The bludgeoning damage equals five. The guard in front of um, Carlias makes a little stab at him. We're the 14. What did you already see? 14. Makes it, breaks it. Blap! Why is it doing all this damage all of a sudden? Four, surely. Yeah, that's. It's showing you the one-handed oh, and two-handed versions of two the attack. Yeah. yeah, this is. Uh, yeah, this would be two-handed. So it's the six piercing damage that you take there from that spear. So yeah, a spear comes in and glances you across one side. Um, the other guardsman is going to... Actually, no, he had advantage on you, didn't he? So It'd guess... still be the same. Yeah, he did, but it wouldn't change anything. Oh, yeah, no, 16. he did, yeah. 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 Um, so then the other guardsman is going to stab at um, strings. Yep, makes a break tip. Another four piercing as you feel the bite of a... Of a uh, okay. Spear in your back. Carlias, vaguely restrained. Alright, am I able to get out? Give me a slight of hand check with advantage. Yes, 21. sir. 21. Nice. You right. just, is the, guy, you just is push, the guard in front of me dead? No. No one's dead. Apart from two bodies in the back that have been shot through the head. <laughs> Who totally killed each other. Yeah. I would have had the Dagger of Venom concealed. No, I took the Dagger of Venom in my no, pack. You gave that to me. Did I? Mm. Yeah, oh, I, said I, I, I said I'd take the Dagger. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. All right, then. Um, I would have had that concealed. Cool. Let me fucking work out what Where the fuck the Dagger of Venom pack. is. What is the... It um... wouldn't be in the bag outside? No. No. I thought it was in the pack, but apparently not. It's what would like... be the uh, stats for a dagger? Because I never got to add that properly. Dagger's usually 1d6. Plus the venom, though. Daggers are 1d4, actually. No, I gave you... Didn't I give you the elixir and... Dagger, elixir, both. and... That was uh, and the money. Yeah. Oh, fuck. You offhandedly. Yeah, I... Okay, I, I'll delete that from mine. I... Okay. Uh, let me check this here. Yeah, dagger 1d4. Yeah, dagger is 1d4, Each. but a dagger of venom implies, like, what, poison? Do you have to attune to it? Or just putting in your thing. So, no, but poison uh, could just be the disadvantage. You gain a plus one bonus to attack and damage, um, and you can use an action to cause thick black poison to coat the blade. The poison remains for one minute or until an attack using this weapon hits a creature. The creature must succeed on a DC 15 con save or take 2d10 poison damage and become Jeez. poisoned for a minute. And it can't be used again this way until the next dawn. I'm going to add this a real, real quick. Dude. Plus one dagger? Which implies a, a... What was that for? One minute or ten minutes of poison? One minute. 
get one minute. Oh, they, of it's it's one minute rounds. on there, and it becomes they become poison. Thank you. So you uh you like you slip out of these ropes, and then you just whoosh, there's a dagger in your hand from up like a sleeve. Um, what do you want to do? So you said it would take an action to make it poison. You have to then... take a moment there to activate the venom. Yeah. So it'd be on your next round that you could attack and do the actual like horrific damage. Okay. So I'll do that as my main action, and then as my bonus, I'm gonna do I'm gonna use uh, second wind. Mm. That's uh, one nice. d ten plus my fighter level, mm. and I uh, regain hit points. Yep. be the end of your turn uh brings us to lash so i'm gonna pop these uh bags through the window and then crawl through myself which will probably take up my turn i imagine sure um yeah you cool. can you can hide the uh the stuff in the little vent maybe oh sweet okay um yep. just move Oh, well. oh god! The, the whole world oh, is sliding. The, the podcast earthquake. <laughs> then you, uh, then you dip into the little, uh, into the little fen. Um, it would be like, I guess it would be difficult to rain. So, you, what is your movement? Thirty feet. Um, where is my movement? Yeah, thirty feet. Let's say you like, you like, you you could probably get in and get all the way in here, easy. Like, you'd, okay, have, cool. you'd have 10 feet of movement used by crawling through, I guess. Um, uh, if I have line 15. of, if I have line of sight, I will actually stay right here and crouch. Yep. Well, I have, yeah, if I've got line of sight, I'll just, uh, pop up and crouch right there. Uh, yeah, you can, you've got an action, you can attack. Oh, sweet. Um, I'm gonna attack Brosif right here with a short bow. That is an unfortunate miss. You fire Whoops. an arrow just suddenly out of nowhere, <laughs> launches across all of you, and um, the the couple of guards go, oh, what, "What the fuck? What the fuck is going on today?" Uh, they're all very confused uh, by what's going on. Uh, Raja, uh, I will. So this guy in front of me has taken. A lot of damage, right? He got hit by. Yeah. He he got hit by me and then also hit by Arden, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's, uh... he's got a couple of stabs on his back. Yeah, and he's turned to face you now. Okay. Um, I am going to attempt to stab him because why not? Nice. Um, you hit him. Okay. Nice. 13, nice. Uh, yeah. That's what we needed. You stab him straight through the stomach. It, like, you probably see a bit of the toll wall poke out of his back. And, um, uh, yeah, you, like, you, like, bring the thing out and he, like, slumps to one side. He's fucking huge. Like, he's, like, a big meathead looking dude. Like, he's got, like, um, very basic, like, leathers on. Um, not marked in any way, but he just looks like he's a brawler. And although, like, you've just wounded him to the point where he will probably die oh, today, regardless. I, I still have him targeted with Slayer's Eye. Yes, give me another that. D6. See if that finishes the job. Aim for aim for his arteries or whatever. He Ooh. grabs you round the throat and says, An honorable death. That's all I ever wanted. <laughs> and falls down dead in front of you. There's no honor in this. <laughs> Nothing honorable. <laughs> <laughs> well, he didn't get it, I guess. However, he justified. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and yeah, he's dead. Uh, anything else? I'm oh, yeah, I'm going to step forward onto his corpse and use my bonus attack on the bindings holding strings. Sure. Give me an attack. Carefully. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, I throw my toe war. Actually, <laughs> not the. 
<laughs> not with the tolar. Uh, what, what, what weapon? The guy that I just killed. What weapon was he carrying? Uh, he had a mace. So that's pretty shit. Mace isn't gonna work. Okay, I'm gonna pull my knife then and use that and just quickly cut the rope. Mm -hmm. Uh, thanks. Uh, that's like definitely gonna hit. Like even though. It's oh, okay. even though... Oh, that's right. Rope doesn't have an AC, right? Rope will have <laughs> well, an AC. Yeah, objects, like... objects do have AC. They do have an AC, but it's got an AC yeah. like two, so you just yeah. psh, um, snap it. It'll have like one HP, so it doesn't matter how much damage you do. You just psh, Sweet. snap the basic findings. It's a tiny little string. Um, string on strings. You got no strings to pull. Ba, ba, um, <laughs> whatever it says. And uh, yeah, um, uh, strings is free. Um, the thug... Can... I don't know how many... Uh... <laughs> I don't know how many item manipulations I can do, but I, I'm assuming I, I, because I just spent my time cutting a rope free, I can't throw Carlias's gun, but can I at least like drop it on the floor nearby? Um, or just drop it or make it available in some way if he wants to come grab it? Carlias's hands are free. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm just going to say he can clearly see his gun is on my hip, even yeah, if I'm not I tossing would, it I to him. I would say you probably can't throw him or anything like that at this point. Um, done a lot the um, gun has been brought the gun has been brought into the room that's the best i can do this turn this <laughs> thug uh just sort of brings up a mace and just hits carlias once and then hits strings once <clears throat> first carlias second strings Ooh. uh that is an 18 wait, and wait. a 17. we're not restrained anymore not restrained it doesn't matter he's anymore. got pack tactics Oh, all right. Uh, yes, 17 yes. makes it, breaks it. Yeah, two hits. Yep. All right, first one, Carlias, seven bludgeoning. Second one, strings, five bludgeoning. So he just runs into the fray. When, like, he sees Raja run in and just, like, ruin his other merc friend, and he just runs across, bang, bang, with the attempt of just knocking everyone down to get towards Carlias, uh, to get towards Raja. Uh, Arden, it is now your turn. A couple of um, knocks to some noggins. Uh, how's uh, how's Strings and Carlias looking right now? I'm I'm looking okay-ish. Definitely wounded. Um, I've been hit, but I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will walk up here and smack the guard uh, right above me to the left with an axe. Do, do, do. 14 is a miss. Um, and I will bonus healing word. Actually, um, no, it isn't a miss. It's a hit oh, because he doesn't oh. have a shield. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> Didn't expect um, that. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, yeah, so you just bring this battle axe across this dude's... Um, uh, across this dude's like neck and you just open up like most of his neck but it doesn't cut so deeply that it's just an insta kill he's definitely going to die but he is clinging on to life for as long as he can one hand goes up and grips his neck and he uses his spear to steady himself <clears throat> he is fucked up bad and barely alive all right well then i'm just gonna war priest uh, my first of the day to hit him with an axe again. How would you like to kill him? <laughs> it just, just, just finish him. Finish him. Yeah, you hear nothing, from nothing, nothing special from the sky. You hear the words "finish him." Only Arden hears it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you, uh, you chop off his head. There's a crack of thunder in your head only. No one else can hear this. And you hear <laughs> fatality. It, it, there probably is, and there's fanfare and women cheering for him in the background. <laughs> yeah. yeah, somehow this guard he's, like falls off this imaginary ledge and lands on some spikes down below. He's becoming more delusional as the weeks go on. <laughs> he's been in the form of Fexus is making him weird. Um, again, you look like Fexus Yeah, that's what's making him weird. <laughs> weird little glowing, eye glow kind of short dwarf. Probably a little larger than he was when you first met him. Yeah. Um, strings. <laughs> You are free. If I warn them, can they get advantage on the save? What do you mean? Like for Thunder Wave? No. No? It's a con because, save, right? So they just, yeah. they just need to be okay. fucking hard as nails to weather it. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay. Um, is my spear nearby, or my crossbow? I didn't grab that from Lash. I I, I have your crossbow. I don't have your spear. Okay, I'm gonna rest my crossbow from him. Um, and I'm gonna shoot the farther guard. Hmm. That's disadvantage, right? No, not if you're shooting the one that's ten feet away as opposed to five. Okay. There's one right next to you that's just bonked you on the head with a mace. Yeah, but I, I I'm there's gonna. A, there's another uh, one like jabbing at Carlias. Take out the one that's about to hit Carlias, yeah. Because Raja seems to have this guy. <laughs> uh, just there's a heavy boom as the the crossbow bolt launches. The the guard like jabs towards Carlias and just. Whoa. Uh, and it dung, just underneath Lash's slightly smaller well. arrow in the wall. <laughs> can you can you reload with a bonus action or is it a full no. action? It takes a full action. On a ah, yeah. Heavy it's a heavy crossbow though, man. Sucks, but they they yeah. hurt. When you, you could always take a fee. Right. Um, the crossbow fighter. A, uh, bonus action. Can I, can I just point fire. down at the mace of the guy that oh, I just bias. killed on the ground? I'm gonna bonus action uh, inspire Carlias and <clears throat> say uh, both to the guard and Carlias. Did you hear about the guard that got hit in the head with a can? He's lucky it was a soft drink. The guard drops dead. <laughs> uh, he doesn't. The <laughs> fire Carlias. The horrific pun inspires Carlias greatly. And. Uh, is the end of your turn? Yeah. And he jabs at Carlias. Oh, I forgot the... <laughs> uh, 13, I'm guessing, is a miss. Yep, miss. As he jabs at you, the crossbow bolt whoom, goes over his head and it causes him to sort of veer off one way. You're able to avoid taking a spear to the gut and you are able to react in some way with your um, dagger of venom. I clicked it, but it's not doing it. There we go. That is a hit. That hit is a uh, inspiration. You, you hit in uh, the uh, guard in front of you? Uh, no, uh, the guard's one behind me who just tried to. The big dude? Yeah. Okay, yeah. This one. Give me that damage, and then 2d. No, and then a con save. And then potentially 2d. So he does a constitution saving throw, has to beat a 15. Ha! Dang. You stab him. Dang. Let's see. Um, you don't even break the skin. Holy you, crap. Uh, you stab this, this uh, massive thuggish looking dude, um, possibly the twin of the other one, who's gone like kind of berserk more berserk than at Raja than you and suddenly this just fucking dagger goes into his shoulder um you like you like see all this coat of poison just enter his body and he's just like turns to you with like a frenzied look ah and you take the, the thing out Doesn't does seem that to poison stay for the entire like it lasts for a minute right well you haven't poisoned him because he's yeah, he, he, he no, weak. but I uh, I can do a action surge. Um, you can use a, the poison remains for one minute, and then he's using the same for one Move minute. Right. Dagger can't be used. So yeah, you can action surge and stab him again. Sure. Do it. You attempt to stab him again, and he uh, he just kind of bats your arm out of the way before you can get the blade to his skin. Um, his crazy look in his eyes. He's gone full feral. Unfortunately. You miss with the second attack. The poison does remain for a minute, which is like 10 rounds. Um, so yeah, you can keep doing it. If you go into another fight, like straight after this one, then the poison will be gone, and then you'd, uh, you have to wait until the next morning to use it again. So bear that in mind that you need to wait till tomorrow morning in game. Um, is that the end of your turn? Yeah. Lash from across the room. <clears throat> so, I'm actually going to move here mm. and uh, take a shot uh, at this guy. The crazy one in the middle, swinging a mace around like a nutter. He's so crazy, he's spinning around, and this arrow just 
the launch is passing. <laughs> ah, and it's uh, There's now an arrow, <laughs> an arrow, and a crossbow bolt in one <laughs> just in the door frame of this shop. You just hear Lash go, ah! Uh, um, Rasha, it is your turn. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try talking to the guy in the middle real quickly, and say, "You're outnumbered. Stand down." Give me a persuasion check with disadvantage. You gotta be an eight. Oh, he looks at you for one minute and then goes, "Fuck There's still you. plenty of money for the taking. I don't need money. I want blood." Fair enough. And then I'm gonna Zephyr strike him in the face. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yep. And with, complete with the complete with the little mini here, cheer sandstorm blowing around me and everything. Uh, and it's gonna be a great weapon strike. So I'll take the minus five for the exchange for the plus ten. That is a hit. Dog got it. That's a hit. Fourteen. Oh wait, no, minus it's a, five. It's, so a, it's, it's a, a nine. nine. So yeah, yep. you you like you go to hit him and he just goes ah and like you're like he's gonna faint one way, he's gonna faint the other. Definitely, he just stands still and you just. Whoop just past his head. Uh, it's so stupid it worked. It's so stupid it worked. And is that the end of your turn? Uh, yeah, I, I can't hit him a second time because I missed. He hits you twice. Oh, wait. I, yeah, you know what? Never mind. Go for it. 17. Um, I, I can use the Valor Bar die to add to my AC, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna do that. And well, my AC is 17, so I automatically dodge just by using that. Yeah, yeah. He like he like swings a mace at you, and you bring the tollbar up and bat it out of the way. He gets inside your guard with the mace, but you manage to bring an arm down and like lock his arm enough so that it nullifies any real measure of power behind it. And he brings it back. Ah! Just screaming at all of you. He's gone full nutcase. Arden. As Fexus. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna cast uh, command on uh, on the uh, guy that's not going crazy right now. <laughs> cool. The guardsman, so right here. Yeah. I'm gonna command him to grovel. <laughs> uh, cool. Yeah. Uh, what do I need to roll? A whiz save, probably. I think it's a whiz uh, save. Yeah. yeah, wisdom saving throw. My saving throw is 14. Oh. He goes, you know what? Shut the fuck up. I only have grovel for no one. He turns to Carlias and goes, I'm so sorry. You must understand. <laughs> I really don't. And he just starts groveling at Carlias' feet. I, you've got to understand. I've got a wife and kids. The old man's always pressuring us. It's a terrible life being a guard in this fucking shithole. Um, and he just begins to cry. But in a man, he's got a bunch of life on that. Do I get to uh, talk to him like in this moment? If you want to, yeah. If you're not doing anything mechanical, you can RP shit out. Well, if you want, we'll let you live if you turn on this guy right here. Give me a persuasion or an intimidation oh. check, I guess. Beat a two. <laughs> <laughs> Just watch, this is gonna be a one. <laughs> what? Crit one? I'm watching real <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! oh my god! <laughs> Uh, you someone, just got uh, fucking wrecked. <laughs> Does anybody have like the math for that right there? He's what are the odds? My God! <laughs> he that... says, groveling on the floor in front of you. He says, "I could never do it. He's my oldest friend. We went to school <laughs> together." <laughs> Carries on crying. Uh, wow. Wow. That, that one was that double, was unreal. Oh, double no. crit fail. Do you have anything How, uh... else you want to do on your turn? You can. How messed up is a and this he's crazy gone. man in he's front of gone. us? Yeah, Cra crazy jazzy man is not messed up at all. Bear? He's got he's got like a dagger. Oh, it's a jazzy. Oh yeah, he has the. It's a jazzy. It's a okay. I figured. All yeah. right, uh, I'll uh, walk up ten feet and use my bonus bonus war priest to swing an axe at him for my bonus action. Cool. Well, he's no longer groveling. <laughs> no, yeah, not not yeah, grovel like grovel dude. Looks like the other guy. You uh yeah you. You just land an axe in his side. He just, ah! He's screaming. 
Uh, he's Pee Wee Herman from the Buffy movie. <laughs> There's a gush of blood that runs down his side. It's kind of fucked up, but he's still going. Oh, that's it for me. Um, strings. Um, I'm gonna growl at the man groveling and vicious mockery him. Uh, <laughs> for fuck's sakes. This spell is shit, mate. Vicious mockery. Alright, let's see. Uh, which one, sorry? The groveler. The groveler. The guardsman. It's the same role, anyway. Nine. He, uh, he's on the... Oh, you don't understand what it's like. My wife fucking hates me. Ah, my head! Uh, he takes one... <laughs> one, <laughs> one damage. damage. Uh, God damn it. That... Such a weird... That's fight. it. That's it. Doesn't command break if they take damage? I don't know. I don't um, know. I'll tell you what command is though, it's not an attack action actually, so I don't think you get War Priest bullshit after it. I'll let you do it this time. Maybe not. Just remember. Yeah, yeah let me check on that actually. I think it, you have to do an attack to get the War Priest bullshit. Right. Let me check that out. Because if so, then uh, re-roll the 10. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, we can use an attack action. Yeah, so he does not take 10. Thank you. No, I'll let you do it. That is good to know. Wait, no, that's good to know now. What's <laughs> done is done. If we do a thing and move on, and no one calls out anyone's bullshit, then it just, it's canon. You got like a round. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to, like to if, if, we, if we come up with it later on, then it doesn't it doesn't change the... That's work. good to know. The, um, uh, I don't know if it breaks his groveling, but at this point, oh, I think he's in it regardless of the spell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you do anything else? No, no, no. The guardsman continues to cry and grovel at Carlias' feet. He says, listen, look, if you lot just fuck off out of town, I'll put in a good word and I'll make sure the Chancellor don't send no one after you. What do you say? That's actually an right. excellent deal. It's perfect. We have to kill this guy, though. Ah. Give me an, uh, an, an intimidation check. Which one's groveling right now? The one in the middle or the one on the, the ground? The one in the middle is just fucking swinging a mace and going nuts. Oh, okay. The one okay. on the ground is the actual, like, official guard. This okay. other guy is, like, some hired muscle bullshit. Okay. Um, the official guard is, like, I'll put in right. a good word. That works. Get in the back room. What are you saying? Are you telling him to get in the back room? Yeah, I'm telling him to get in the back room. Alright, I'll tell you what, I'll do it. Just don't fucking kill me, Jesus. Um, I don't attack him. Okay. He doesn't attack you either. He crawls to the back room. <laughs> uh, crawls through the, the blood that's like pouring out of the two dead guys' head wounds. Uh, and just crawls into this like... He wraps himself in the rug, which covers oh up the trap God. door. And just lays there shivering. Because <laughs> his life is fucked either way. Um, Carlias, there's still a nutter spinning a mace trying to kill everyone. Alright. <sighs> I need my gun. No, you don't. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't hand it to you because I am busy wrestling a guy with a mace, but you can see it on my hip. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I... I fucking... He already grabbed his crossbow off me. Yeah, I, I just <laughs> fucking yanked it off him. Yeah, but it, is it... If I grab the gun, can I shoot with it? Is it loaded? It is loaded. Uh, I mean, well, I did not... I did not, I did not like unload it. Action, if I'm not mistaken. It's just a free action, so... Free action. Or you could grab a mace off the ground and hit him with that. And you've still Fuck got that, the dagger of venom, and it's still coated in the shit. Yeah, but I haven't had the best nine, of luck with that, so... Uh, like nine more rounds. <laughs> He's missing with everything that isn't his gun. Yeah. So just get the gun back. But in order uh, to shoot yeah. the gun without disadvantage, you need to step away from the crazy man with the mace who'll be able to hit you. For stepping out. Dead Eye would side. cancel it out. Mm. And I do have grid. His Dead Eye stops him from getting opportunity attacks? No, Dead Eye, no, Dead Eye gives oh, advantage. Dead Eye it would counter the disadvantage. I guess, yeah, I guess he could do that. Alright. I'm gonna move here. Get my gun. Is he gonna attack me? No, you haven't, no, you, you haven't left his threat range. You relate, you're free to move around him. Oh, so if I'm still in his threat range, I can grab the gun. You can get the gun. Yeah. 
Yeah, what yeah. I'm saying is if, in order for you to get like a non-disadvantaged standard attack, you have to step away from him. Because doing a, if you do a ranged attack from melee distance, it's disadvantaged. You can okay. dead-eye it to bring it up to just a normal attack, or you can yeah, risk... Yeah, 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 do that. 16 is a hit. 7 piercing damage on this nutter. He's freaking the fuck out. Suddenly, you, you slip around one side. He brings up his mace, and you just bang! Hip shot. Cuts through uh, one side of his uh, chest. His lung is filling up with blood. He shouts with a gargle. Some blood bubbles out of his mouth, but he's still going. He brings up the mace. He looks insane. He's definitely going to die. But he's still, he's still swinging and going nuts. Yeah, that's it for my move. Lash. Here it is. Cotched this up. Is cotched up in the back of the store. You got this, girl. <laughs> girl? You're gonna land a hit? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna land a hit. Just wait for it's it. Not a, not a crit one. It's a hit! Oh, Yay! Yay! All right. Give me some damage. And also you get a sneak attack because Ooh. you have allies within uh, the range. This guy's going nuts and he's distracted by everyone around him. So is that plus uh, 1d6 for damage? Yeah, I think I gave you a sneak attack button that you can just click. <gasps> oh, 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 you did, oh, 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 one second. Does it automatically sure. level as she levels too? It goes, no, it doesn't, but I will have oh, to just be remember it and keep an eye on it. Nice. How do you want to kill the crazy man in the center of all your friends? Um, so, I don't know if anybody played Sniper Elite, but you just kind of get this oh cam shot of the, uh, the arrow <laughs> swirling in and bonk right between the eyes. And, and he just, I feel like he planks. Yeah, like, well, like... I'm currently wrestling the guy, so does that mean the arrow goes through his head no! and stops? <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> no, like, you're, you're in this motion. It goes through his head and stops, you're like, kind in front of, of my engaged eyes, right? with him. He takes a shot to one side, and then a bullet through front... Like, one of his eyes just disappears, <laughs> and is replaced by, like, an iron uh, pointed arrowhead right in front of your face. He then... He, his entire weight just slumps down in front of you. <laughs> uh, and he falls down to the ground. Nice. There's a bunch of quiet for a moment, and then you suddenly notice all of the townsfolk up at the window suddenly look in, ah, 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 and they all run off, scattering. Then there's a lot more quiet, apart from the sniveling of the guard in the back room. Yeah. Um, there's a bubbling from the chest of the shot dude in front of you. Uh, there's a clink as we, Carl Lyons clicks his We need to go. We need to go. Right now. We have to go. Back. I'm like grabbing our packs. I'm grabbing the gold off of his Carlos body. is gonna run over to Lash, give her a hug, and then just take her back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Grabbing my pack, grabbing the gold off of his, uh, the one guy's body, the, the thing of it, and fucking, we, we have to go, we have to go. Um, idea, I'm gonna drag all of the bodies over to the cellar. Mm -hmm. um, real quick, I'm just gonna ask them to help me drag them all over to the cellar. There's a, crying them man down the the there's a crying man on the trap door. That's that's uh, fine. That's uh, fine. Gonna, move, gonna move him. Uh, move him. Uh, I'm just gonna roll uh, the fucking uh, carpet uh, out of the way. Uh, uh, can I? Can I? Can I? I, I want to grab him by the collar and look in his eye and say, "Hey, listen, pay attention." <laughs> um, snap out of it. I oh, yeah, can't. Make sure, no matter this. what, they don't find this trap door. Throw it open. Throw the bodies down. Dragon's breath on the bodies. No, we could blame. We could blame the. Nope. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Acid. Black. It's acid. Yeah. So there's just pool of acid appears at the bottom of this fucking ladder where all these bodies are, and there's this immediate stench of body burning mm. acid. Throw some Febreze down there and sewage, uh, and this this just this bubbling smell pours <clears throat> uh, up through the hole, and then you close the trapdoor. The dude is trap door. in your thing. Rug. Raja, he says, uh, uh, can't stop it. I don't can know I, why. I, I'm gonna grab, uh, I've never cried in my life. I'm gonna, like, if, I, I, unless he's gonna fight me for it, when Strings gets close to me, I'm gonna grab his bag that, that I had thrown through the window with all the gold in it and just take, like, a huge handful out, like, however much I can carry, and, like, shove it under the guard. From me a say, D100. Okay. <laughs> 
better than 300. Okay. Now's not the time to be greedy. And it's not meta. Now's not the time to be greedy. 76 <laughs> gold pieces. Gold. So you, you're minus yeah. 76 gold strings. <laughs> I shove 76 gold onto him. I say, when you fill out your report, the cannibals in here killed three of your friends. Cannibals you got that? did it. Cannibals did it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyone from this town comes after us. I'm coming back for you. Yeah, all right. Give me Wait, a Carlias, check. Carlias is going to walk over to him and grab him from Roger's grasp and say, you know, earlier when I told you to turn on him, something in my mind said snake eyes. You're a very lucky man. But if you turn on us. Listen, mate. I, I don't get paid that much. This is more money than I've seen all year. All right. I, I, I ain't gonna do, I ain't gonna do shit. I'll tell you what, at best... What's your name? Oh, you don't wanna know my name. My name's Connor. What is your name? My name's Connor. <laughs> <Add to the notes. laughs> Can I insight check? <laughs> yes. Is his name actually Connor? Uh, you can have advantage because he's so. crazy. And it's, it seems like he's telling the truth. His name is Connor the guard of Windy Peaks. Okay. <laughs> as if Connor will brutally murder his namesake here. <clears throat> Connor the guard is crying. Listen, my name's Connor, all right? Listen, you leave. Let me I'm try. I'm going to back in with the gun. Let me try and sort all this stuff out. I got your back. Can I, can I, can I try to <laughs> like stop Carlias from, when, when he does that, can I, I, I don't know if I can like use my reaction to like stop him and say, we need at least, we just stop, let him go. It's one thing to murder all the riffraff in town and kill the rabble and all the people in the tavern, but if we kill off the guards, they'll come after us. We'll all have prices on our heads. Well, some of you already do. You're a lucky guard. Um, we should probably take off. Uh, when's the train come? Are you asking the guard? I don't know. When does the train come? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna look like at the. Him. I'm gonna look at the guard. When does the train come? I don't fucking know what do I look like. A train conductor. Don't fucking. Whatever. The trains are not exactly reliable here, you know that. <clears throat> Maybe we could leave town a different way? Horses? Look, guys, we, we can't be here right now. If his story's help. gonna hold, we can't be seen here. Look, help, help right. me. And I, right. I show him, like, the vent. Like, let's go get the bags. Right, right, right. Go, 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 go. And I start just shooing everyone out of you the room. You all sneak out through the vent? Yeah. So yeah. you all sneak out through the vent. You roll a stealth check? <laughs> no, or... you don't need to stealth out. You're walking out oh, of a fuck. back door. Uh, into a dark alleyway. There's no one there. <laughs> Your bags are still safely in the vent, so you just fucking Ooh. like grab the bits that you need, and then um, head out into the uh, into the alleyway. Um, that's I'll where we're gonna end the, the session. Yeah. <laughs> fucking hell, man! <laughs> wow, <laughs> that and... we just got a fuck ton of gold. <laughs> you got a lot of that gold. That was insane. Yeah, you. Or is it real gold? Well, like it's like one of those. I things, checked right? it. You, you yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> you sort of uh, did the thing like in Skyrim where you rob a shop and get away with it, and you just sort it. <laughs> so. But we didn't rob, rob a shop, them. and it goes sideways. We then you get away with rob. it. You definitely like, robbed the shop. You just feel, they were dead. you just feel like you're ethically and morally correct to have robbed the shop because they were cannibals. <laughs> it was still thieves. You murdered those four cannibals. <laughs> You've still stolen. <laughs> You've just stolen from. You've done like a, a Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Except that Robin Hood gave it to himself. Like half, <laughs> half. Just Robin, no hood. Just because you think hood. you're a good guy doesn't mean you're not the bad As guy. As a big fan of karma, I'm sure I'll work out a way to oh, balance sure the scales. You will. Mm, for you. Didn't yeah. you just balance the scales? Like not at all. I knew you could <laughs> kill those guards. I assumed you would long before you you were like, oh fucking god damn it. I was like, oh they're not just stabbing these guards in the neck and killing them instantly. Yeah, I didn't want to kill innocent guards. I get it. Um, and then you made them not innocent and that made it easier. Yeah, once you had them be crooked guards, it was a lot easier to make that yeah. decision. Yeah. Fucking well they were crooked from the start because they um, pinned this shit on you. Um, it's just that the whole town is crooked, so we gotta because it's windy peaks. <laughs> we gotta wrap this up for Tuesday, yeah. So let's do a very quick round of shout outs. We'll start with Jay. Uh, what's up? Hello. Uh, tomorrow I'm playing more Darkest Dungeon. This su Saturday we're painting miniatures. I'm gonna paint a Displacer Beast. Come Ooh. watch. Also, don't forget to go sub to the YouTube uh, for Table Story. Yes. Go watch the previous 
broadcast. Go watch Neon Scream on Fridays. We have many shows. We have many shows for you to enjoy. Right um, Fairlight Excalibur. Where can people find you? Uh, hey guys, I'm Fairlight. I, I used to be just your average innocent RPer, and now we just murder innocent people every <laughs> session. Um, I'll be yeah. I'll be replaying uh, Shadow Warrior 2 starting today. It should Ooh. be fun. Nice. Great game. Yeah, so we'll fun. be doing that here like right afterwards. Um, I feel like it can only be Jay and Connor that influence groups in this way, because <laughs> the other group that they were in for Storm King Thunder were also weirdly like chaotic neutral. Um, <laughs> I was gonna have Raj I was gonna have Raja be lawful or at least like stick to neutral or whatever, but nah, now we're just like full on, just whatever. Cheers My guy whatever. strings is lawful neutral. Yeah, Let's... no, I mean to be again, again, it's the most justified random town guard yeah. bullshit combat i've ever seen so it's you, you you're all right for now until i <laughs> for now. until i have for time now. to digest the session tuesday uh who are you where can people find you um tuesday gray they can find me at twitch.tv forward slash tuesday gray i stream sometimes and i will be live here shortly on the front page on henley's channel um pretending to be a vampire. vampire so it's vampire the masquerade la at nights um we're new vampires, so we're kind of just uh, still trying to figure it out, but it's super, super fun campaign. Um, and then for the rest of the week, I'll probably play something, probably pub. Probably playing TV pub. Too. You're like me, addicted. Yeah, um, pretty much all I play. Just can't do nothing else as much as you want. <laughs> um, <laughs> Mr. Connor Cronus. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Connor Cronus. Uh, currently playing Bioshock on Survivor difficulty. Uh, so there's a lot of deaths and but it's it's fun. It's my first time playing through the collection, so it's gonna be interesting. Nice. Nice. Also, Brad, it is now Carlias's mission to find any NPC with the name Brad and kill them. <laughs> there is an NPC named Brad out there. There yeah. was also a little um He's like a uh, he's like a Dave a little or something. The little steam monster was named yeah, Brad. Yeah, Steam Effort was named Brad, wasn't it? <laughs> that was called Brad Woto. Yeah, <laughs> the one that ran into the wall. No, there's there's definitely gonna be a creature out there, something called Brad, but it's almost definitely like a, a solar angel or a terrasque <laughs> or something. Brad the dragon, Brad the cactus, Brad whatever. Yeah, <laughs> it's dying. You, I believe in you. Find it. You, catch it, you know you just it. fucked us, right? He's gonna name a major key NPC Brad. Yeah. The king. The, sa the sand wraith that Roger's been hunting is named Brad. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, something is eventually uh, <laughs> hj attenchi hello uh you. we're playing darkest dungeon uh 1 to 9 p.m pdt monday through saturday with the exception of wednesday where i'm here noon to four and i'll be starting streaming about an hour i have a meeting in 30 minutes and uh we'll be playing some darkest dungeon <laughs> breath the beholder beholder is such disease. a fucking great idea because of the elder fucking game i killed uh jay's old oh, character dude. with a beholder <laughs> Y'all inflicted with the wasting uh, Brad's. Yeah. <laughs> Just oh, minus five AC. Brad the Beholder. Cannon done. Well done, chat. Cannon. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll be back this time next week. Not this time, but this time. Um, five EST. Three EST. Three EST. Um, I only know three EST and five EST. If I ever have to work out a different time, <laughs> um, it just screwed. falls apart. Um, three Eastern, eight PM UK time, right? And high noon at uh, high uh, noon. At, uh, high noon PT in the Pacific Standard Time area. Is that what it's for? I don't know. Yep. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. I'm still mad about those ones. <laughs>